Welcome to Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner. And here's Pamela. Hello, everyone. Welcome and welcome to Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner. I am Pam, and this is my little corner of the interweb to share all things yarny with you. Welcome and welcome back to my subscribers. Welcome to everyone that is new. Welcome back to everyone that has been with me for a while. I appreciate your subscriptions, your thumbs up, and your comments. I read all of them. Well, what do you guys think? It's the poncho. This is absolutely beautiful. This is the poncho by none other than Crystal of Bag o Day. And it's the poncho that is the hottest thing going right now. Everyone is making one. So, this is episode 30. <gasps> episode 30. Thank you guys so much for joining me and watching and spending some time with me. I am a crocheter who knits a bit. I reside in the Inland Empire with my hubby and we are the parents of a grown up. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this episode is going to be short and sweet and it's all about the poncho. So as I said before, this poncho is the hottest thing going right now. Pretty much everybody has made one. I am going to make another one. My sister has asked me to make her one. Um, I think I shared with you guys in a previous podcast my kind of love-hate relationship with Shawl in a Ball. Didn't feel too good on my fingers. And so I saw... Um, Everyone was using it. I saw it in different shawl patterns and different wraps and different scarves. And I thought I have a box of it. I should dive into it, excuse me. So I did my first shawl in a ball project um, was my fan and feather shawl, uh, which is still in whip form. And um, I don't know if I'm going to frog it. A lot of you guys said to just uh, join it and to make a cowl out of it. So I think that's a good idea because there's no frogging shawl in a ball. Then I saw uh, Pamela's Adoring Crochet. She had a cute little shawlette. So I made one of those and I really like it. I used the uh, blue color shawl in a ball. I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head. And then I had a couple of balls left and I thought, oh, I want to make this poncho. I've been wanting to make this poncho for a very, very, very long time. A very long time I've been wanting to make this poncho. Isn't it cute? I love it. So let's talk about the poncho. I'm going to get my handy dandy pink basket here because this is where I kept everything that I was working on. So first of all, I used a tulip hook. I used a K. I am a very tight crocheter and a very tight knitter. So whenever a pattern says to use an H hook, there's no way. Um, I haven't gone any lower than a J, maybe once or twice I've used an I, but normally I'm a J and a K and an L when it's called for. Normally I'm a Susan Bates girl, okay? And I do have some furls hooks and some other hooks, but Susan Bates, that's my hook. 
Well, when you're, in my opinion, when you're working with shawl and a ball, and for what I was working on, the roundedness of the Susan Bates um, crochet hook head didn't allow for smooth entry. So this tulip is perfect for working with this type of yarn. And I do believe that there are certain hooks that go well with certain yarns as it's the same with knitting. There are certain needles that you want the yarn to grab onto. There are certain needles where you want the yarn to just slide off. So I think the same holds for the crochet hook. So my friend Z, hey Z, she had given me, she had gifted me a J hook. This was some time ago. Um, I think she had an extra one or something and she gave it to me. And I thought, oh, and I had never used a tulip before, so I loved it. So I ordered the K hook on Amazon. So this is wonderful to work with this type of yarn. So the first color, and I said first, that's right, I played a mean game of yarn chicken and I lost. <laughs> I lost at yarn chicken. So the first color of shawl and a ball you guys see? The first color of shawl and a ball that I used is called Community Coral. And right here, blowing out, there you go. It shows you exactly how the colors are going to play out. So I, I like this because of the purples and you can see the purple and you can see the pink and it's called community coral. So the coral does not show up until here. And I thought that's great. What a great pop of, of color. Very soft, very subtle. So as I was motoring along i had i don't know probably this much yarn left and i had to go all the way around so i didn't have another ball of community coral but i did have i had a ball of restful rainbow now look at the color sequence on this. Isn't it similar to Community Coral? Look at that. Community Coral and Restful Rainbow. So what I did, which is something that I rarely do, I took Restful Rainbow and I peeled back the layers to get to this color right here. You see that? It's like a purple, this color right here, these last two, three rows are from Restful Rainbow. So I had to peel it back to get into this. That's what I was after this kind of rust color and then this purple. And then this bright purple showed up, which was perfect. It was perfect because it went with all the other colors. <laughs> you guys are like, what's wrong with her? <sighs> Nothing. It's Friday. I don't have to work tomorrow. It's very warm here in Los Angeles right now. I'm in Southern California, so it's okay. So I used three rows of Restful Rainbow to finish off the poncho. So I thought the colors blended in perfectly. It gave it a little pop at the end. And check this out. 
So remember I told you that I got, you can get a jar of beads from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I got a jar of beads quite a while ago. I got some white ones and I got some soft pink ones. So look what I did. Can you see this? Do you see the bead right in there? So what I did was I put, this is a four point poncho. You have your point here on each sleeve. And then you have a point in the front and you have a point in the back. So in every point, I put a bead. And I thought that was cute. Just something unique. There's my, my arm point. And I took um, clear, I always have clear thread and you use the um, darning needles that are curved like that. And that's how I attached it right up on top of there and tied this in a knot and voila. So I have a bead in all four points. <laughs> so this is my poncho. It's called the Lacy Mint Poncho by Crystal of Bag o Day. And I will leave the link on my community page because that makes it really easy. Um, I can do my community page on my phone. I could probably do it on here too, but I just, you know, I'm not a techie. I'm still not on Tech Island, so forgive me. But anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. And like I said, I'm going to keep this really short and I will be making another one of these beautiful ponchos. And again, my colorway is Community Coral and a pinch of Restful Rainbow. So if you can, if you want your poncho to hit here, mine is just below my bum. So you would need, you would need a full skein of shawl in the ball plus a pinch of another one. That would be my recommendation. Um, always have two balls of yarn it's always safer to do that. Um, that way you don't play yarn chicken. I'm so lucky that I had this in my stash. Otherwise, I don't know. I ordered Shawl in the Ball online. I have never seen it on the shelves. So I just got lucky with that. So there is one other thing that I want to show you guys. So if you will just hold on one moment, I'll be right back. I am back. Because we all have to wear a mask, I have made several masks using different um, YouTube tutorials. And I will write that information. Actually, I, I think I can link that channel on my community page. So I will do that as well. So what I do is, and I posted this on my Instagram um, feed, so I thought I'd share it with you all. I have a mask pouch, okay? This beautiful pouch was made by Kim, the Crafty Nomad. She has an Etsy shop called Ebony Pearl, and you can check her out. I'm not sure if she has put anything up in the shop yet, but go buy Etsy and check it out. So this is my pouch, and inside of my pouch, I have probably about four or five different masks that I have crocheted, okay? And then also I have 
a small bottle of hand sanitizer. I also have a pair of gloves in there. And I also keep some filters. Now a filter can be anything. This is a coffee filter. I have a percolator, you guys. I know I'm dating myself. One of those percolators that goes do 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 <laughs> so I'm I'm dating myself with that but these are round and then what I did was I cut a t-shirt in ovals and you can just place that inside of your mask as a filter so I always keep this inside of my bag and so you pretty much have everything in here that you need. So I sort of kind of have a color for, you know, different outfits and things like that. And I just, you know, take this uh, everywhere with me. So that might be something that you guys want to do. I don't know. I just thought that I would share my mask bag with you. And that is it, short and sweet. I don't think I've ever been in under 20 minutes, but I know you guys don't really like long videos. And this video was all about my poncho. <laughs> I am so proud of this. I absolutely love it. Even my husband said, that is really nice. Thank him for my introduction. That was so fun. I hope you guys like that. So I am going to bid you adieu. I am still working on all of my whips. Um, I will be back soon. I'm trying to finish some of them. And right now work has kind of taken up a lot of space in here. <laughs> it's my busy season, but I wanted to get on and show off my poncho. I hope you guys like it. And if you want to make one, check out Crystal of Bag O Day. And everybody be safe, wear your mask, and be kind. Don't forget to exercise. I have an exercise video specifically for our lethal making weapons. Let's exercise those hands and keep those in good working order so that we can craft, craft, and create. It's time for me to bid you adieu. Thank you for spending some time with me here at Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.